Hello, Terracon4 here. This time I'm here to talk to you about the 3D Radar System, a package consisting of an actor and associated component that allows you to create a miniature 3D display of various things going on in your world. First off, I'll just say that it is highly customizable in its appearance, with all the meshes and materials used being easily replaced so you can tweak the visual style to match whichever you have in your own project, be that holographic display or otherwise. The main actor, or 3D Radar Blueprint, works by looking for other actors with a specific tag that you can give them. Then, from those actors, it will look for the radar return component. This component contains a variety of pieces of information, and will effectively control how a given actor, or part of an actor, will appear in the 3D Radar Actors display, or if it will even be showing up at all. This means that each radar return can have its own appearance set by the user, such as a simplified version of that actor's mesh. You can also set a mesh and materials by faction relation, so it will show up with a different colored appearance or even visual mesh, depending on its relation to the searching radar actor. The 3D Radar Actor itself has a fairly large number of options as well, to control what shows up on its display, what types of returns it should show, or modifiers for the effective ranges that it can spot specific types of returns at. There are also various options, such as how the grid or radar returns will appear, such as being relative to the chosen radar emitter or relative to world space, so you can get the desired look and feel for how your radar will display stuff as it, or the set radar source component, moves through the world. While mostly intended as an easy way to quickly implement three-dimensional radar into space fighting games or such, the flexibility and customization options in this product allow for it to be usable in many other environments as well. It's fairly simple and easy to implement and set up, and offers a wide variety of options making it a convenient tool for those looking to add a three-dimensional map of various actors in their games. This product can work in a multiplayer game with a little bit of extra effort as well. As always, if you have any questions or comments, then feel free to email me or drop it in the comments below. Or, for more information on the product and how it works, you can also look through the documentation that is also linked below.